Hello and welcome to Frontier Community Access Television. I'm Mason Smith, your host and cameraman for the evening. And thank you all for joining us for this boys varsity soccer playoff game at Minichog High School. It's Mount Greylock against the Frontier Red Hawks. Frontier being the number three seed and Mount Greylock is the number five seed. Good evening and welcome to this is the Western Mass tonight, Finals Western and Mass here we go with the starting and lineups Greylock and Greylock. the coin flip to see who is going to start with the ball for this Western Mass Championship. important things before tonight's contest in lineups. Today's game can be found live streamed on Minichog's athletic YouTube page. Please remember, participating student athletes, coaches, and contest officials have worked diligently to prepare for today's competition. Please show your appreciation by demonstrating good sportsmanship and respect for all in attendance. Ensure that your behaviors reflect the values that should be identified with these student athletes. Assume responsibility for your behavior and the behavior of those around you. If you require assistance, please call upon a PBIAC school or security official. Any verbal, written, or physical conduct related to race, gender, ethnicity, disability, sexual orientation, or religion shall not be tolerated. And could subject to the violator to objection. It may result in penalties being assessed against your team. Our great nation has persevered through the leadership and sacrifices of men and women who have served or are currently serving in our armed forces. We invite both veterans and current military to stand We thank you for your service to our country. Now, for tonight's rosters and lineups, we'll be going through numerically for the entire rosters. First, for Mount Greylock, goalkeeper number zero, Dan Warren. Number one, Mateo Chang. Number two, Noel Stroud. Number three, Noah Pompas. Captain number four, Josh Rudin. Number five, Arthur Greenfield. Number six, Caleb Lowe. Number seven, Quinn McDermott. Number eight, George Munimo. Captain, number nine, A.J. Kruger. Number 10, Eamon Hetherington. Number 11, Declan Rogers. Number 12, John Manuel Morales. Number 14, Henrik Bingman. Number 15, Simon Shin. Number 16, Marcus Whalen Liu. Number 17, Liam O'Keefe. Number 18, Jude Barzowski. Number 19, Gavin Hetherington. Number 20, Cam Miller. Number 21, Dylan Navarro. Number 22, Everett Bayless. And number 31, Lex Anagno. Coaches for Mount Greylock are Blair Dills, Mike Russo, and Seth Rogers. Now for Frontier's roster. Number one, Owen Babb. Number two, Ben Ketchaguango. Number three, Diego Frazier. Number four, Jesse Kirkalanos. Number five, Nico Fasulo. Number six, Megawong Vitar. 
Number seven, David Pitonato. Number eight, Shannon Sun. Captain number nine, Brady Birch. Number 10, Devin Niles. Captain number 11, Matt Sakar. Number 12, Jack Storm. Number 13, TJ Donovan. Number 14, Max Rajvali. Number 15, Fernando Saravia. Number 16, Kaiser Yacht. Number 17, Chan Yi Sun. Number 18, Aiden Valderrama. Number 20, Max Millet. Number 21, Eric Larson. Number 22, Andrew Garoppolo. Number 23, Augustus Radner. Number 24, Ann Pachort. Number 25, Adrian Kuzmandy. Number 26, Xavier Frick. Number 27, Will Dacus. Number 28, Grayson Bishop. And number 30, Nico Lorantos. Frontiers head coached by Evan Horton and assisted by Ram Rosvalli, Matt Zorotny, and Joe Baer. Check one, two. Check, 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 check. Testing, testing. There we go. All right, we're in good shape. When is the sun going to fucking set? All right, um, 542. Okay. I can live with that. the three two one first sorry mr murphy <laughs> three two one hello and welcome back to frontier community access television i'm mason smith here with you tonight for this western mass championship game boys soccer frontier redhawks against mount Greylock. And sorry to Mount Greylock, I don't know their uh, mascot. I'll probably figure it out along the way. Maybe, maybe not. We'll have to wait and see. Stay tuned to find out. So, the starting lineup is out on the field for both teams. Uh, in goal for Greylock, we've got Dan Warren. And Owen Babb is going to be in goal for the Frontier Redhawks. Uh, and I'm looking at the roster right now. It, Mount Greylock Mounties. That's their name. And by the way, uh, we are playing at Minichog. It's an away game for both of them, although I believe that one is technically designated as the home team. Frontier's going to start off with the ball. Pass back there. Long shot down the field. We've got some action in the corner, far side of the field. And they're going to keep it in bounds, it looks like. Mount Greylock's going to try and push it up. Frontier's going to take it back. Has it on the sideline. Nice pass up. He's running along. He's in the corner now, looking for someone to pass to. Gets out to the side. Centering pass there. Tries to get a shot off, 
nothing's there. So Greylock's going to try and clear it out. Ooh, little body there by Valderrama. Number nine for Greylock. Or number six, that's my bad. Number six went down hard. So Greylock's going to take a free kick there. Frontier trying to put some pressure up. Greylock's going to keep it up the sideline. Passes it to the near side. And it's going to go out. Uh, that's Aiden Valderrama. Now Jack Storm, number 12 for Frontier. It's going to take the throw in. Little pop up there. Header. Some progression for Greylock. Ball's in the center of the field now. Passed up by Greylock. Far side of the field. Frontier's going to get to it first, it looks like. But can they keep a handle on it? They're going to pass it out of bounds. So it's going to be a throw-in for Greylock. Frontier's going to try and clear it out. Greylock's there. Passes it back up. And there's Owen Babb to stop it from going in the goal. And there's Valderrama. Nice pass up the field, but it's going to get kicked back by Greylock's goalie, Dan Warren. Frontier on the near sideline now. Midfield. Tries to pass it forward on the far sideline. It's going to get intercepted by Greylock. They're going to pass it forward. Frontier takes it back. They've got Valderrama on the near sideline. They're trying to make something happen, but Greylock's going to take it back. Passing it back. Nice long pass there to the other side of the field. Frontier kicks it back a little bit. And there's a Fernando. I think that was Fernando. Passing it to his teammate, trying to get it to Valderrama. But there's going to be intercepted by Greylock. Greylock's going to take it up the near sideline. One on one here. Greylock makes a move, going to try and make something happen. Ooh, and a good slide tackle there by Jack Storm. And so Greylock's going to have a corner kick. Pretty sure that was a corner kick. Yeah, there it is. Here's the corner. Ooh, and the header's a little low. It's going to roll out of bounds. So, goalie kick for Owen Babb right there. Had to give him a little moment. And uh, Mount Greylock's coach. I'm not sure which one that is. I was about to do a name call, but I don't actually know. Uh, header by Frontier. Going to knock it forward towards the goalie. There's Dan Warren. Scoops it up, so no dice for Frontier. Looking for someone to throw to, maybe a little kick. Here's the kick. Pop fly right to the corner, or the side, my bad. Nothing there, but Frontier's going to get a throw in. Goes out on Greylock. Frontier's going to get another throw in. There it is on the baseline. Doesn't stay in. So it looks like that's going to be a corner for Frontier. So right after a corner by Greylock, Frontier's going to get an opportunity. Here's the kick. Right over everyone, little header at the end there, but it's going to roll right back out of bounds. Um, and going to be a goalie kick for Dan Warren. Actually, that's going to be taken by a player, so Dan Warren isn't going to be... The goalie isn't going to take the goalie kick. Nice kick there. Header by Frontier to send it back a little bit. 
Got a little action here on the near sideline, but it's going to go out of bounds on Frontier. So Greylock gets a nice throw in, headed back by Valderrama. Ooh, little check there almost, hockey check. Nice aerial pass there by Frontier. Fernando fighting for it. And whistle's gonna blow. So Greylock's gonna get a little free kick there. Just some over aggression by Frontier is what it looked like. Greylock's gonna pass it up. There they are on the sideline, trying to make something happen. Dribbles back a little bit. Nice move to get around Jack Storm, but it, the ball's gonna get kicked out of bounds. Here's the throw in for Greylock. Header by Storm. It's gonna stay with Greylock though. Centering pass tried. They're gonna work their way back to the sideline. It's gonna get stolen by Frontier. That's number 17. I'm sorry, the name's escaping me. Valderrama up the sideline. And Greylock gets it back. There's Jack Storm, makes a pretty little move there, and it's gonna go out of bounds, though. He loses his handle on it. Throw in by Greylock. Jack Storm kicks it out of bounds. It's just a one man show over there for Jack Storm. There's the man himself right there. And now Greylock's going to get another throw in. Number six centers it across the field. Greylock's going to try and make something happen. Oof. Off a couple players, but Frontier's going to clear it out over there. So the ball's going to go out around midfield. Whistle's blown and Sub's going to come in. Ooh, yikes. He looks pretty hurt. So that's number five coming in for Frontier. That's Nico Fasulo right there, number five. There he is. There's the ball on the sideline, going to get passed up by Greylock and fielded by Owen Babb. Just gonna walk it up to the top of the goalie box, take his time with it. And a nice long casual pass down the field. And there's Fasulo for the ball. He's gonna go after it, but there's the goalie, Dan Warren. Jeez, I keep forgetting his name, my fault folks. Uh, Ball is going to be in Frontier's possession on the sideline, but it's going to get kicked up towards the goal. Dan Warren's right there to scoop it up off of a one bounce. There's his kick. Down to midfield. Frontier's going to try and field it, but Greylock gets it. Up the sideline. Jack Storm there again for Frontier, and he's going to kick it out. So is that going to be, it looks like it's going to be Frontier's ball. Jack Storm looking for the throw in. Chest, chest hit to the ball. Knocked down by Greylock. It's going to go out of bounds. Stay with Greylock. Here's number three. That's Noah Klompus for Greylock. Throws it in. Pop fly of a kick right there to try and clear it, but it's going to be no good. There's Aiden Valderrama for the throw in for Frontier up to Fasulo. Nico, Nico Fasulo kicks it up for Frontier, and Greylock's going to pass it back to Dan Warren. Warren looks for a pass. He's got it on the far side. Frontier's going to intercept the ball. Tries to pass up to Fernando. Fernando isn't there. He's going to get the pass intercepted by Greylock. Greylock along the far sideline. Frontier tries to kick it up. There's Valderrama to try and make something happen. Ooh, and a push right there. So, Frontier's going to get a free kick. Um, And 
And there's a kick for Frontier. Fielded by Greylock. They're going to try and pass it back up. Frontier is there. They're going to kick it right back down the field. Ooh, and a push there after a good opportunity for Frontier. And there's going to be a little word to be had between the referee and I think that's number nine. Yes, number nine for Frontier. Brady Birch, Captain Brady Birch. There's Jack Storm with the ball. Tries to pass it up. Nico Fasulo couldn't do anything with it, so it's going to be Greylock's ball. They're going to get a throw in here. There it is. Nice long down the sideline. Headed up. There's Daytar. Passes to the far side, going to get intercepted by Greylock. Greylock's going to pass it in. Centering pass. No one's there except for Jack Storm, who's going to try and clear it out. Tap down by Greylock, who's going to pass it in. Player gets knocked down. No whistle blown. Tron He going up the sideline, passes it up to Brady Birch. Can Birch do anything about it? He's going to throw it in after it goes out of bounds. That's to Nico Fasulo in the corner. Sorry, not a great angle right there, folks. We got a couple nets in our way. But there's a throw in by Greylock. And they're going to try and get themselves out of a little danger here. Pass to the center. Fasulo's there. Valderrama tries to make a move. It's just not going to happen. Greylock going to go up the sideline. Little push there. Chan He tries to make something out of nothing, and it's going to stay nothing. Except it is a throw in for Frontier. Jack Storm's going to take it. Nice little header there by Fasulo. And the ball's going to go out of bounds. Nice little awareness play right there by Noah Klompas. Throw in by Klompas. He's going to take it up the sideline. Going to get taken by Fasulo. Stolen back by Greylock. There's the ball now, midfield. Working its way back into frontier territory. And Greylock has an opportunity here. Pass to the near sideline. Back to center. Frontier's there to clear it out a little bit. Ease the tension. Greylock still has the ball. They're going to dribble it back. Pass back to the far sideline about midfield. Forward, still on the far sideline. And Frontier's going to intercept the ball. Pass it up. There's Nico Fasulo. Far sideline. It's going to just roll right out of bounds. So, throw in for Greylock. Just past midfield. Greylock gets another throw in at midfield. They're going to get it long ways down the field. And Frontier trying to take the ball away from Greylock. Ooh, and Chani's going to get knocked down. Play on his knees. Greylock still has the ball here. They're on the near sideline trying to make something happen. There's a centering pass, goes right through the legs of a player. Frontier trying to do something on defense. It's just staying right at the top of the goalie box. Owen Bad must be a little stressed right now, and there's the clear that Frontier needed. Oh, and a little mishandle there by Greylock. Missed opportunity by Frontier to capitalize on that. But here's Greylock again, passes up to number eight, right at the top of the goalie box. Going to get intercepted, or rather stolen, by Chan He. Valderrama. Passes it up. There's Fasulo racing down the sideline. He's going to get checked right in the corner, and it's going to go out of bounds. And it's going to be a goalie kick for Greylock. Score is still 0-0, by the way, in this very exciting game. Western Mass Championship game. 
I might add, if you didn't know that already. Although you probably did if you're tuning in. Especially if you're not interested in soccer, you'd probably tune in for a championship. I know I would. I'm not particularly a soccer fan myself, but here I am. And there's Jack Storm down on the field trying to pass it up. It's going to go right out of bounds, though, just barely. So Valderrama There's Klompus with the throw-in for Greylock. Tron He is going to get the ball for Frontier. Work his way towards the very center of the field. Is he going to be able to get something out of this? There's a beautiful pass. He's open. Can he get a shot off? There it is. There's the goal Frontier needed. It's one to nothing Frontier in the Western Mass Finals game against Mount Greylock. And that was an absolutely... That was a phenomenal goal right there. Great team effort by Brady Birch. And if my memory serves me, the assist is going to go to Chan Hee Sun. So first goal of the game here at Minichog High is going to go to the Frontier Red Hawks. With a just frontier goal scored by senior captain number nine Brady Birch. We got That's just over nine, 23 minutes Jamie left. We've got just over 23 minutes left in this half, 40 minute long half, by the way, folks. Uh, those of you keeping track at home, uh, so we're just a little bit before the halfway mark in this game and Frontier has taken the lead the first lead of this game too pass to Valderrama isn't going to connect it's going to go out of bounds but it's going to stay Frontier's ball or is it? no it's not it's going to go to Greylock There's the throw-in. Frontier has it now. We're just pushing it up, rather. Dan Warren gets all the way to him. He's going to kick it up to some of his teammates at the top of the goalie box. They're going to try and give him some breathing room after that goal that was scored just a few moments ago. And there's Chan Hee Sun, who got the assist. Another beautiful pass from him. Going to go up the near sideline and out of bounds. And a couple subs coming in for both teams. I did not catch all the numbers, so I'm not going to be doing all of that. Here's a throw from Greylock. It's going to go to Dan Warren, the goalie, who's going to pass it up. And it's going to get intercepted by Frontier. Goes back to Greylock. Oh, fooled me a little bit there. Uh, Frontier has the ball now in the far corner. Tries to pass it in, but Greylock's going to clear it out to one of their players. Cross field pass. Number 11's there. And Frontier's going to try and clear it out a little bit. Stop by 12. Pass up to 17, I think that is. And there's a little fight for the ball over there. And Frontier's going to pass it up, but it's going to get hit off of a Greylock player. So out of bounds on Greylock. Frontier's throwing. Frontier has the ball back now. Number 14 on the sideline. Goes out of bounds on Greylock. He'll take the throw in. Frontier still on the far sideline. But they're going to give up the ball now 
Greylock is going to take their throw in. There it is, down the sideline. And kept in bounds by number 15. There's Brady Birch with a nice little header forward. And there's a little pressure on Dan Warren right there by a Frontier player. There's Nico Fasulo, shot on goal. And a beautiful little save there by Dan Warren. But Nico just always ready for that opportunity. I've seen him just absolutely sprint down the field a couple times. Like it's nobody's business. Greylock with a throw in now. Gonna get it up the sideline. There's Chan He for Frontier. Passes it up. There's Nico Fasulo again. Farther down the baseline, but it's gonna go out of bounds. And it's gonna be a corner for Frontier though, since he hit it off a Greylock player. Here's the corner for Frontier. Ooh, it's gonna go right to Dan Warren. He's gonna field it out of the air. Knocked down by, I believe that's Daytar for Frontier. Ball's gonna go out of bounds. Greylock with a throw in now. On the far sideline. Jack Storm trying to field it. Oh, and he's not going to push it forward. Gets knocked around a little. Ooh. He was asking for a whistle, and he got it. So Jack Storm sells a penalty. Frontier is going to get free kick. There's Daytar with the free kick. Down to the center of the field. Jeez, I keep losing it. There's 15 for Frontier up the sideline. Battling for it. Greylock's going to try and clear it. There's Chan Min. Oop, he's over there. My bad. Jesus. Ball is going to roll out of bounds on the baseline. Sub in for uh, Greylock is number 20. That's Cam Miller. Sophomore Cam Miller. Um, for number 12, John Morales, Junior John Morales. There's the goal kick for Greylock. Knocked down by Frontier, there's Brady Birch. Captain Brady Birch is gonna take it up the field. There's a shot on goal, it's gonna go right over. Jeez. Yet another opportunity for Frontier. And if I had a partner here, I'd say their name, but instead I'm going to talk to everyone watching. You know, folks, something that I've noticed while watching this game, and I've been watching it for a while, just about as long as you have, uh, that Frontier has had a lot more pressure on Dan Warren, Greylock's goalie, than Greylock has had on Owen Bapp, Frontier's goalie. And... At the end of the day, if you can really just rack the opposing goalie's brain and just like really throw them off, that can do a lot to your team's advantage. And it can also do a lot 
for your team's scoring opportunities. If you're getting that close and you're taking all of those shots, that is a really great thing for your team, as we've seen so far for, from Frontier, because they have been getting those opportunities in the goalie box, and they are currently in the lead, one to nothing in this game. There's Chan Hee Sun with the ball for Frontier. Another great pass from him. Going to go up. Is it going to get to Dan Warren first? Oh, my goodness. That was close. Brady Birch for Frontier sprinting down the field was just trying to beat the pass to Dan Warren, but he was just a little too slow. Very exciting opportunity for Frontier there, who well, again is up one to nothing. We now have just about 14 minutes left in this half of the game. Ooh, there it goes. Pass forward from Frontier. Brady Birch trying to get to it, but it's going to get passed back to Dan Warren. He's going to pass it up to his teammate. Number five, it's up to number 11, Jack Storm there, trying to make something happen. Pass up by Greylock to the far sideline. They're gonna try and get it to the center. There's Jack Storm, who's gonna pass it all the way back out to about the 35 yard line. Ooh, and a slide tackle is what that looked like. So a whistle blown and a free kick for Greylock is what's gonna come out of that. And that's not the best news you want to hear if you're Frontier. Because if I zoom out a little bit, you can see just how close that is to the goal in the grand scheme of this field. And so they're just about 40 yards away from the goal right now. Frontier's got a little bit of a wall going. Two players right over there. Referee making sure that they're far enough away. And they weren't, so they're going to back up a little bit. Clock is still ticking, by the way, for those of you that don't know soccer that well, uh, which includes me. But I do know this. The clock doesn't stop for nobody except for a goal or a really bad injury. Here's the kick for Greylock. It's going to get into the goalie box but it's gonna get cleared out by Frontier. Here's Brady Birch on the sideline. Brady Birch has some room to work with. He's gonna pass it up. What a great little pass there. That's uh, number 10, I'm sorry, I don't know his name. He's gonna center it, headed out right back to him by a Greylock defender. He's gonna try and get something done over there in that corner. He's gonna get knocked down though. It's gonna get passed out. There's Chan Hee. Just racing down the sideline. Pass back by Greylock. Nice little play there. And now it's on the far sideline. Frontier going to clear it out. And there's Nico. Oop, there we go. Greylock has it now. Nice little pass up the sideline. Daytar. In the corner, it's going to get kicked out by number 22, Everett Bayless for Greylock. And there's Greylock still with it after the throw in by Daytar. Frontier's going to try and clear it. It's not going to go too far. There's Brady Birch with the ball now. Birch going to try and make something happen. And it's going to get passed back to. Dan Warren, who clears it out to midfield. But there's Birch still with the ball. And Greylock's gonna take it back, but they aren't making a lot of things happen here, folks. They have possession of the ball, but they're, make, they're making progress. There we go, Frontier takes it back again. Greylock back with the ball now. Over to the sideline. Centering pass, Jack Storm clears it. And there it is back again, back to the very top. It's like a hockey passing formation. Oh my goodness. Greylock isn't getting too much done. 
Greylock isn't getting anything done. So now they've got a throw in with just under 10 minutes. Oh, maybe this will change the, the pace of the game. We've got three subs coming in, number eight, number 12, and number seven for Greylock. George Munemo, John Morales, and Quinn McDermott are the subs that just came in for Greylock. Whistle blown, stoppage of play. Frontier gets a free kick. Sorry, not a stoppage of play. Maybe a stoppage of play. I don't know the term. They stopped kicking the ball for a little bit is what happened. And then Frontier got a free kick, and it was a big kick down the sideline. But Greylock gets it back now, and they're carrying it back up the sideline. And Owen Babb touches the ball for the first time in I don't know how long. Nice little rollout to his teammate there. That was number 14. Frontier trying to pass it up. Ooh, Brady Birch and another, and a Greylock player, number five, get knocked down. Ref blows the whistle. Asks number five on Greylock, that's Arthur Greenfield, what happened. And Greenfield's gonna come out, it looks like. Or at least talk to the coach. No, yeah, he's going to get subbed in. Uh, number 20 coming in for Greenfield. That's Cam Miller. So uh, I guess we can say that Greenfield is a little injured. And there's going to be a sub out for Frontier. Number 15, Fernando Saravia is going to go out. I'm... Missed who came in for him. Tron Min. Pass to Jack Storm. Nice little move there he made. Oh, and it's going to get hammered back by Greylock, but there's a whistle down. So it's going to come back here for a free kick for Frontier is what happened. Daytar is going to take the kick for Frontier on the near sideline. There's the kick into the goalie box. And it's going to get kicked out of bounds on the left side of the goal. So Dan Warren's going to go get it. It's probably not going to be him kicking it because that's what's been happening for the whole game. Uh, yeah, and there you go. That's uh, trying to see which number that is. I believe that's number 11 to Clan Rogers, who takes the kick. Headed back by Frontier. There's Nico. Just running all over the place, trying to make something happen. It's going to get passed up the sideline by Greylock. Nico's chasing him. He's going to get the ball. Can he get around him? Pass back to Jack Storm. Nice play there by Frontier. Forward pass by Greylock. He's going to get knocked down. Just under seven minutes left in this half. And Greylock's coach is trying to make something happen as they have a free kick here. And there's a little wall being formed by Frontier. Again, another close field free kick for Greylock. And is it going to get out of bounds? No, he's going to save it. But Jack Storm's there. He's going to kick it to the center. And a couple headers around the goalie box. Almost cleared by Frontier. Greylock has it. And a slide tackle there by Frontier to keep possession of the ball. There's Devin Niles. Crossfield pass. And whistles blown by the ref. Small penalty there. 
free kick for Greylock. They're gonna shoot it down the side of the field. He's gonna get around Jack Storm, pass back. Number six, they're gonna go up to number 12. He can't handle the ball though, Devin Niles has it now. Niles up the sideline. Niles, pass up to Birch. And he's gonna get called for offsides, I believe. Yeah, Greylock's gonna take the ball. Offsides call on a good opportunity for Frontier. Free kick by Greylock. On the far sideline now. Greylock centering pass right in front of Owen Babb and Jack Storm's gonna clear it out. Jack Storm is having an incredible game, folks. He has been all over the field. He is on defense, but he is making a lot of plays, getting a lot of things done for Frontier when they need it. And now Captain Brady Birch is gonna come out for Frontier. Coming in for him is number 16, that's Kaizik Yath. I'm really sorry if I'm pronouncing that last name wrong because I probably am. Here's a corner kick for Greylock. And it's gonna get caught right out of the air by Owen Babb. Nice throw there. There's Nico Fasulo down the sideline. He's got a little room to work with, folks. He's gonna make a pretty little move right there. He's got someone in the center. Can he make the pass? Couldn't make the pass to Kaizik. Now Chan He has it back to Valderrama. Pass up. Kaizik fighting for it over there. Sorry, I didn't have the focus there. Chan He, pass up. And Devin Niles gets knocked down. Whistle's blown. Frontier is going to get a free kick at about the 25 yard line if we were playing football. Um, 23 yard line. <laughs> I'm not being specific. I don't know. I chose to be like this. Uh, so Devin Niles is going to take the kick for Frontier. You can see Dan Warren dancing around in the goalie box. And we've got a little wall going on for Greylock. Here's the kick from Devin Niles. On the ground, gets stopped by Greylock, cleared. So a tense moment relieved by a good defensive play by Greylock, but Frontier still pushing up the far sideline. Greylock gets it back though, after throwing, fielded. Still around midfield. Greylock's gonna pass it up on the far sideline now. Keeps it up in the air, a little foot dribbling. Uh, or just dribbling, I don't know if what they call it. <laughs> Nice aggressive defense there by Nico Fasulo and Jack Storm lays himself out to get the ball out of bounds. But Greylock's gonna keep it. Throw in by Greylock. Gonna get pop flied up by Frontier. And a whistle's blown by the ref. Free kick for Greylock and we are Two minutes away from the end of this half. So Greylock really wants to make something happen so they can go into this halftime feeling good about where they are right now. They want to neutralize this score. They want to make something happen right here, right now. Here's the kick headed out by Frontier. Sent in and Owen Babb snags it right out of the air. He's going to throw it up the sideline. There's Nico Fasulo again. He has got speed, folks. He is racing up the sideline. He's got Devin Niles in front of him. He's got Kaizik Yath in the center. He passes it to Devin Niles. Devin Niles is going to work back. He's going to cr cross it to the other side of the field. Is it going to stay in? It is not. So that's going to be Greylock's ball for a throw in. An incredible opportunity for Frontier, incredibly executed with some great footwork. There's Greylock pushing it up the sideline. It's going to go out of bounds. Frontier's ball, there's the throw in. 
handed back by Greylock. Valderrama across the field. He found Nico Fasulo. Fasulo gets the ball stolen from him. And Fasulo's fighting for it on the sideline. Greylock's barely gonna keep it in. They're gonna pass it to the center. Kicked back out by Frontier. Frontier pushing it back in the direction they want it to go. And then forward pass by Greylock. And I don't have the time anymore, folks. We're under two minutes. It's all up to the refs on how much time is left. And are they calling a timeout? Or is that the half? I believe that that, no, it looks like they're calling a timeout. They aren't getting off the field. So they are gonna take a quick break and so will I. You are watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. I am still Mason Smith. We're just under, we're under two minutes left in this first half of this varsity soccer game here. What a great save there by Owen Babby. He's gonna throw it up the sideline. Um, if you're just joining us, Frontier is leading the game one to nothing. And you joined us just in time for halftime. So, quick, re quick recap since we just got back from a quick timeout. Uh, it's one to nothing Frontier after, and, and that goal was scored by uh, their captain Brady Birch after a great pass by uh, Chan Hee Sun. Owen Babb uh, has not had a lot of action this game, but he has made all the saves that he needs to uh, for Frontier. And Dan Warren, uh, of course, has only missed one save. That's why there's only one goal. And uh, we're going into the halftime right now. Again, Frontier up one to nothing. And this is the Western Mass finals game. So if Frontier can keep this one goal lead or increase it, they are going to be the Western Mass champions, whatever class they are. They're gonna be their class Western Mass champions, which is quite exciting for this soccer team as I believe they were Western Mass champions last year as well. So that would be the start of hopefully a great legacy at Frontier. And of course, if you're Greylock right now, you've got to be thinking, what are we doing wrong? How can we break through Frontier's offense? Because that is what's carrying them right now. And we're going to leave those teams, Mount Greylock, Frontier, they're going to discuss their game plan for the next 40 minutes of game time. And we will be back in just a few minutes. I'm Mason Smith. You are watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. I am still Mason Smith here at Minnetonk High School. The sun has gone down, the moon has come up, and so have the stadium lights. They've turned on just at the start of this second half of the Western Mass Finals between the Frontier Redhawks and the Mount Greylock Mounties. Frontier is currently ahead in this game, one to nothing. And no doubt they're hoping to keep it that way. So if you're just joining us, we've just come out of halftime. And Frontier has the ball right now. But they've got it in their own territory. They're going to want to try and push it up, and there they go. Pass back to Jack Storm, up to uh, Valderrama on the far sideline. Greylock has it now. And Greylock's going to pass it back to their defenders. Up, gets through a couple players, and there's a nice little centering pass taken away by Frontier. Uh, there's Brady Birch to uh, Tron Min, and there's nothing there. Frontier's going to keep the ball, though, throwing down the sideline. 
And Fernando's going to take the throw in now for Frontier. Right to the center of the field. Nobody's there. Going to get cleared out by Greylock. But Frontier's going to kick it back in. Greylock kicks it, kicks it back out to center field. Headed back in by Max. I'm really sorry about this na last name. I know I'm saying it wrong. Max Rajbali. Uh, there's Fernando with a header. Up to Devin Niles. Jack Storm on the far side of the field now. Trying to get around number 14 for Greylock. He can't get the pass around. There's Chan He trying to get something done for Frontier. And the ball's going to go out of bounds on Mount Greylock. Throwing from Jack Storm to Brady Birch. Greylock has the ball now. Pass up from Greylock, intercepted by Chan Min. Kick down the field by Frontier. Way down the field, past a couple defenders. And it's going to get passed back to Dan Warren. Greylock's goalie. And there is the ball coming down after a beautiful little kick from Dan Warren. Oh, and there's number 14 for Greylock working his way up the sideline. He got past Jack Storm. Centering pass. Max trying to clear it. He gets to the top of the goalie box. Greylock's going to kick it in, and it's going to go to the left of the goal. First time Owen Babb has had to worry about a goal in a little while. Or a shot on goal, I should say. So, here he is, taking his own goalie kick. To about midfield, a little bit past that. Greylock's going to field it. Frontier trying to get it back. They do. There's Valderrama with it now, surrounded by Greylock. Greylock will steal it. Bad pass there by Greylock. They're going to pass it back across the field. That's number nine with it now. Seven on the very edge of the sideline. It's going to go out of bounds. So Max is going to take it up for Frontier for a throw in. There's Fernando, can't save it from going out of bounds. So it's going to be a throw in for the Red Hawks. Headed back out by Greylock. And so Max is going to run up. Takes a throw in. And there's Devin Niles. It's going to get kicked out, and it's going to be out on Frontier this time. So Greylock's going to keep the ball, or he's going to get the ball, rather. And there's a, oh, there's another ball on the field that they just had to get off. All right. There's the throw in from Greylock right along the sideline. They're working their way down, centering pass. Daytar's there. He's going to pass it back out for Frontier. And... Can Frontier clear this ball? It doesn't look like they have can. But it gets kicked out of bounds by Jack Storm on the far sideline. And again, Jack Storm is just having an amazing game, folks. He is all over the field. He is making plays. And he's making them when they count. Nice pass into the goalie box by Greylock there. Max is going to push him out of bounds, though, number 14. And it's going to be a goalie kick for Owen Babb. Greylock has the ball now. Trying to work their way up the sideline, but it's going to get stolen by Fernando. A couple players fall down. Max fighting for it. And there's Chan Min. Gets it by 
a Greylock player. But Greylock gets it back. They're going to pass it back up. And the ball is going to get just by Max. So it's going to go out of bounds. Throw in for Greylock. And Greylock is going to launch it right into the goalie box and cleared out by Frontier. Popped up by Greylock to the far side of the field. They've got a player there. Pass it back out. And it's going to just go right out of bounds after an attempted cross pass. Owen Babb taking the goal kick again for Frontier. And I'll tell you right now, folks, Greylock is down one to nothing right now. But, oh, we're having a couple subs come in here. Um, that's number five for Frontier, Nico Fasulo coming in for Devin Niles. Pretty sure that was Devin. Yeah, Devin Niles. Uh, there's the goal kick by Frontier by Owen Babb. Ball's out around midfield right now. Frontier tries to clear it out. Nice forward pass there by Frontier. Fernando is there on the sideline, makes a nice move. Ah, and it's gonna get kicked right out. But it's gonna be Frontier's ball. It's gonna go back out, looks like, on Frontier. And now Dan Warren gets a goal kick. Although if he follows the trend of the game, he's not gonna take it. There he is, number 10, taking the goal kick for Greylock. There it is up the sideline. Oh, and there's a handball called. That was clear as day. So, free kick for Greylock. Number four, Josh Rudden. who incidentally is uh, one of Greylock's uh, captains. Haven't heard his name a lot tonight, probably because I don't know it, but that's beside the point. Long pass up the field, caught by Owen Babb. There's his punt down the field. And there's Chan He. He's fighting for it between two Greylock players. Greylock's going to get it up the sideline. Far sideline, there's a pass. Owen Babb's going to be there to scoop it up, though, and kill the play. But what I was trying to say earlier, folks, was that you can really tell that Greylock has changed a lot in this second half. We're just... 10, 11 minutes in. Yeah, just over 10 minutes in. And they have had the ball in Frontier's end so much more than they did when they, they had it. They, they're having it in Frontier's end a lot more than they did in the first half. And it is just an exponential amount more. And there's been, I'd, I'd say, like, anywhere from four to six shots on goal. Or Owen Babb has had to handle the ball four or six times so far in these first 10 minutes of the second half. And he, was, he only had to touch the ball once or twice in the first half. And so Greylock has changed something. What, I don't know. But whatever they changed, it seems to be working for them in the sense that they are getting the opportunities and the chances that they need to score goals. And all they need right now is one. 
to tie this game and get back into it. But right now, Fernando is going to pass it up to Nico Fasulo, but the ball is going to go out of bounds. Stay with Greylock. Greylock pushing it forward. They've got a man in the center. Ooh. And it's going to get stopped by Owen Babb. Nice pass there by Valderrama. Owen, oh, there's Nico Fasulo, it looks like. I believe that's Fasulo. Working his way up the sideline. He's going to get shoved. Looks like he sold that a little bit, but nevertheless, the crowd is upset. Something that I didn't mention, folks, is that the crowd here at Minichog High has grown so much in the half. In the few minutes that we were away during halftime, it just doubled, even tripled. So many people from Frontier. I even saw a couple familiar faces. I saw, it's like we're playing I Spy here or something. There's a Principal George Lenides, Athletic Director, Mr. Carl Sear, among others friends of mine that I saw in the stands and no doubt as Frontier out on the field you want to see that you want to see that support and Frontier's coming all the way from South Deerfield Oof. and another shove there that Nico Fasulo falls victim to Jack Storm now with the ball for a throw-in to Valderrama on the sideline, far sideline. There's a pass up. Brady Birch can't handle it. And Greylock's going to pass it up. Little chip forward. They've got a guy, number seven. Can he do anything? He can't because Fernando is taking the ball from him and Fernando's working his way up the sideline. Gets past about three Greylock players. Ooh. And a big shove there. And a yellow card on the captain, Brady Birch. And he's going to get subbed in by Devin Niles after that. That didn't seem like just any old play. That seemed like that had been brewing for a little bit. Unbeknownst to me, at least. And so here's another free kick for Greylock. There it is into the goalie box. Headed out by Frontier, but we've got Greylock right there to jump on top of it. Another shot is going to go wide right. And Owen Babb will take a, another goalie kick. And here's, uh, oh, that's Brady Birch. Brady Birch coming in for Aiden Valderrama. He just had to get off for a play, I assume. 25 minutes left in this game. And... Well, Frontier is handling this goalie kick from Owen Babb. Mount Greylock has got to be thinking, what are we going to do to get ourselves back in this game? Because if they cannot score a goal, folks, that's it. Frontier will be the Western Mass champions for the second year in a row, I believe. And I could be very wrong. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> um... But regardless, if Mount Greylock doesn't do something, Frontier is going to be walking away with the title. And here's Chan He making some great moves around Greylock players. Pass back to Matt, Max. And so he's forced to pass it back. There's number seven for Greylock. Pass up, good opportunity for Greylock here, one-on-one. -on -one. Owen Babb with an incredible save, my goodness. 
and there's Fernando. Gets by a couple defenders. He is racing up the field. Gonna get caught by one of Greylock's captains. And the ball is gonna get sent down the field by goalie Dan Warren. My goodness. What an incredible sequence we just had there, folks. We went from one end of the field to the other, and we're going right back now because Greylock is pushing the ball forward. Nice pass across the field, but it's going to be just a little bit too far ahead. Number seven, that's Quinn McDermott. Quinn McDermott had an incredible pass to Everett Bayless just a few moments ago, and Owen Babb made an absolutely phenomenal save, sliding right into Bayless to quench any hopes that Greylock had of scoring a goal in that moment. Brady Birch still pushing and shoving his way around the field. Not that he was meant to learn anything from that yellow card, although I assume it would be a suggestion. Here's Dan Warren. Dan Warren punts it down the field. Frontier, Devin Niles of Frontier, trying to make something happen. There's Chan He, makes a nice move. It's gonna get cleared out by Greylock, but Chan Min's there. Fernando gets the ball passed right by him. Nice pass up by Max, and it's gonna go out of bounds on Frontier. Brady Birch with the ball. Pass in the middle of the field. Tron He. Greylock gets the ball back now. Pass back to Josh Rudin, captain. Forward pass by Frontier. Greylock gets the ball back. Nice little move there. Tron He's going to get the ball, though, for Frontier. He's working it through the middle of the field. Header by Rudin. It's going to go right to Nico. And Greylock's working their way down the sideline, not the way they want to go. Pass towards the middle of the field, and they're going to clear it out. But Frontier's right there. Pass to Nico. Fasulo. Fernando in the corner, trying to make something happen. Pass in, gets knocked down, and it's going to get shot down the sideline. And Max is just going to let it go. So... Oh, and we've got a little whistle telling him to back up. And there's Ben Cachuango with the ball now for the throw in to Chan Min. Greylock's going to get it back. Intercepted by Chan Min. Chan Min's going to take it down the field. Tries to pass it to Niles, but Niles is just a little bit too far away. It's going to get intercepted by Greylock. Slow pass. Cachuango's there. And Fernando's going to get it. Pass back to Cachuango. He's looking for someone. He finds Niles. Fernando going to take it up the sideline. Little push there. He's going to pass it up to Brady Birch. And he is way, way off sides. So that's going to stop uh, an exciting little play that Frontier had going there. Um, Twenty minutes left in this game. And here's a free kick for Greylock. They get it to the far sideline. They're working their way up. They're in the corner now. And before Jack Storm can go to work, it's going to get whistled dead. And the ball is going to be called out of bounds. Out of bounds again on Greylock. Jack Storm again with the throw in. Headed out again by Greylock. Jack Storm again with the throw in. I sense a pattern growing, but there it is. Chan He, or Chan Min rather, my bad. 
Tron Min with the ball tries to pass it. It's going to get kicked up by Greylock. Jack Storm's right there to field it. He's going to try and pass it up, and it's going to get kicked out. Jack Storm again with a throw in. Greylock passes it up to the middle. Tries to get cleared by Frontier, and it gets shot on goal. I'd call that a shot on goal. Owen Babb scoops it right up, looking for someone to throw to. Nice long throw to midfield, gets headed up to Rudin. Oh, and a great pass there. Brady Birch all alone. He's going to run right into Dan Warren. Oh, my God. And with an open net, an open net, Devin, Mo Devin Niles misses the kick. But Dan Warren is going to take a knee. And there's going to be a little timeout. He's going to wave it off, though. He's going to wave off the trainer. He's, he's up. He's walking. He's talking. So he seems to be all right. So, focus over here for a second. That is Lex Anagnus, number 31, who is the second string goalie for Mount Greylock, warming up just in case Dan Warren is deemed not fit to continue playing after a very hard hit by Brady Birch. And I think it was the right call there. There, w there wasn't any penalty. That was just the game being played out the way that it is. And it wasn't intentional. It didn't look intentional. And while they're analyzing Warren, we'll just try and talk about the game for a little bit. So again, Frontier up one to nothing. There's 18.26 left in the game. And Greylock is doing a very good job giving themselves the opportunities that they need to get themselves back in this game. What they aren't doing, on the other hand, is following through, which is, of course, <laughs> the key that is needed to get themselves back in this game. But all they need is one time with one good shot, one good opportunity, and we can be talking about a very different game. They're still talking to Warren out there, so we're just going to take a quick little break while they assess what's going on. You are watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Uh, we're back from a quick injury timeout. Uh, Dan Warren is still on the field. He seems to be in good enough condition to play, which is all we can ask for. So we're glad that he's okay. But we've still got 18 minutes left in this game. And Frontier is on... offense right now but there's a whistle so the ball is going to go back to Greylock free kick down the sideline and Greylock's going to pass it around far sideline intercepted by Nico Fasulo Fasulo is going to go down the sideline ball is going to get stolen from him Oh, and a little push there by Brady Birch isn't going to be enough to get the ball back. Greylock on the near sideline now. Pass is going to go out of bounds. And a throw in by Cachuango up to Fernando. He's going to get swarmed and the ball is going to get taken away from him. But Frontier player is right there. That was Devin Niles who tries to pass it up to Brady Birch, but it's going to get intercepted. Greylock's defensive line has it now. They're going to pass it up. Fernando trying to get some acrobatics in. 
and there's a whistle blown. So, little minor penalty on Greylock, not sure what it was, but Frontier's gonna get the ball. That's Matt Seacard on the kick, also one of Frontier's captains. Little shove there by Fernando. Pass back to Cachuango. Tron Min, cross the field to Jack Storm. Storm passes it up, tries to get it to Brady Birch. It's not there. Greylock's going to get it back. Number seven with it now. Pass up to 22. 22 trying to make something happen, but he can't. There's Tron He. Ball's going to get stolen by Greylock. Pass up and out. And Cachuango's there again for the throw in for Frontier. There it is up the sideline, tries to get it for, to Fernando, but it's gonna get kicked out by Quinn McDermott. Throw in by Cachuango, up the sideline, way past Fernando. And Greylock's gonna try and clear it. There's Birch, great pass to Chan He, back to Birch. Centering pass to Niles. Fasulo, Niles on the sideline, out of bounds. Greylock trying to clear it out on the sideline, and Niles getting pretty physical over there. Tronman a little tripped up, Storm. And Cachuango makes a nice little stutter step move there. Slide tackle by Greylock. Tries to push the ball forward. Chan He now with the ball. Pass up by Greylock and a slide tackle by Cachuango to get the ball out of bounds. What a great play right there. So that's gonna be a throw in for Greylock. Couple subs coming in it looks like. I didn't catch the numbers. So yeah, that's gonna be a throw in for Greylock. Gonna be taken by number nine, AJ Kruger. Kruger with a throw in, who by the way is a captain. Header in the goalie box, Frontier. Kick right towards Owen Babb. And he gets the save. Close but no cigar for Greylock. And Babs gonna just send it down the field. There's Niles waiting for something to happen. Tron He gets the ball by Greylock. Pass up to Birch. And it's gonna get taken back by Greylock. Fernando, pass back, past Cachuango to Seacard. Bab kicks it up. Right to Greylock, number seven. Jack Storm breaks up the pass and is gonna get sent up to Chan He. Now to Nico Fasulo. And the ball is gonna go out of bounds on Greylock. Jack Storm with a throw in now for Frontier. There it goes. Out of bounds again, this time off Frontier, nope. Still off on Greylock. So uh, that's Niles, I believe, taking the throw in. Up to Fasulo. Fasulo running up the sideline. He's not going to get there in time. But can Niles make something happen? There's Fasulo. He's going to get thrown down right on the sideline. And the ball is going to get kicked up. There's Jack Storm after a play. He's down on the field. Looks like he might have cramped something. Yeah. So while they're gonna stretch out his leg, we're gonna take a quick break. We'll be right back. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. I am Mason Smith, still here at Minichog High School. 
Uh, we're just back from an injury timeout that turned into a water break. Uh, and after a great, great game where he was just all over the field making all of the right plays, Jack Storm has taken to the bench after what appears to be either a cramp or a pulled muscle in his leg. And so that happens with just over, just about 12 and a half minutes left in this game. And Frontier still up by one. And right now Frontier struggling to get the ball out of their own side of the field. So there's Cachuango with a pass right by Birch. Birch with the ball now. He's getting up past midfield and it's gonna get kicked all the way out of bounds. Valderrama for the throw in. Pass up to Niles. Can't get around his defender. Ball's right. Ball was right on the end. Right on the edge of the sideline. And it's gonna be Greylock's ball. Throw in by Greylock. Headed out by Valderrama. Another throw in by Greylock down the sideline. Centering pass, intercepted by Chan He. Nice pass there up to Niles, who gets it back to Chan He. And looks like that was going to be a pass for Brady Birch, but it went right to Dan Warren, who's going to kick it down the field. There's Cachuango, Ben Cachuango makes a move. I think that was Valderrama who passed it up to Niles. Niles trying to work around a couple defenders. Gets down the sideline. Chan Min. There's Daytar. Pushes number 12 away. Strong kick up the field and it's gonna get scooped up by Dan Warren. 10-20 left in the game. Mount Greylock needs to make something happen if they want a shot at this. Pass up by Frontier. Fielded by Minichog around midfield. Frontier passes it back to midfield. Mount Greylock up the sideline. Number nine is going to get pushed out. And it's a throw in for Frontier. Devin Niles almost gets the ball, but it's going to get kicked up by number four for Greylock. Sorry, the name has escaped me. Josh Rudin, I think. Yeah, Josh Rudin, Captain Josh Rudin. Uh, Greylock with the ball now on the far sideline. They're going to pass it up right to Owen Babb, who's going to scoop it up for Frontier. He's going to look for someone to throw to. Kicks it down the field, just past midfield. And there's Devin Niles. But he's not going to make it to the ball. Throw in by Greylock. Fielded by Frontier. Niles with it now. Passes it back to Max. Max shoots it forward and it goes out of bounds. Greylock throwing. Nice move there by Nico Fasalo. Fasalo gets a pass from Birch, but it's going to just ease its way out of bounds. There's Tron He with the ball now. Pass up to Niles. Niles speeding down the field. And shot on goal. Nice save there by Warren. Another shot goes right across the net. And it's going to get scooped up by Warren. That's got to scare about Greylock right there. 
That is not what you want to see. Tron He with the ball now for Frontier. And there's number 12, Mount Greylock passes it up to the far sideline. Intercepted by Daytar. Daytar is going to try and control the ball. Passes it up. Brady Birch is there. And Devin Niles. There's going to be a little pushing and shoving as tensions rise towards the end of this game. Got just over seven minutes left. And after a pass from Warren, Greylock's going to try and push it up the near sideline. Gets past Valderrama. Pass up to Seacard, and there's a whistle blown. Not sure what that is. So it's going to be a free kick for Mount Greylock, it looks like. Oh, and there we have it. Jack Storm coming back in for Frontier. So it looks like it was just a pulled muscle. He's back in, which is always good to see. There's the free kick right into the goalie box. Jack Storm right off the bat getting his feet on the ball. And Nico Fasula is going to take it up the sideline. He's got Devin Niles in front of him. Passes up to Devin Niles. Devin Niles is going to have to race for it. Niles in a foot race up the far sideline. Can he get to it before Dan Warren? And he can't. Warren's going to clear it out. But there's Chan He with the ball. Gets. Oh my goodness. He is writhing in pain on the ground right now, folks. That did not look good. Chan He racing up the sideline was clipped on the knee by Noah Klompas of Greylock, who, of course, is going to sub out. And Charney is not getting up, so... Not spelling good news for Frontier, and we're going to take a quick injury break. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello, and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Uh, we're coming back from an injury timeout. Uh, Chan He did get up and walk off the field, which is a good thing to see if you're Frontier. They've got a free kick. Oh, jeez. Just above the net, and a great save right there. Tipped the ball out of bounds. That was Dan Warren, of course. And so that'll give Frontier a corner kick on the near side of the field. Here's the corner. And it's going to get caught right out of the air by Dan Warren, who's going to kick the ball just about to midfield. It's going to get fielded by Max Daytar running back. And Greylock's going to get it now. They're working their way up the far sideline. Pass back. Middle of the field now. Shot over the goal. So goal kick for... Owen Babb. 5-20 left in this Western Mass Finals game. Frontier is still up one to nothing. And hope is beginning to dwindle for Mount Greylock. Daytar passes up for Frontier. 
on the far side of the field. The last five minutes of time will be kept on the field by the officials. At the conclusion of tonight's championship game, we ask both administrations of both teams Max with the, the throw in for Frontier, headed by Valderrama. Goes out of bounds on Greylock. There's a nice throw in. Niles racing up the sideline. It's going to get passed back to Warren, though. And Warren's going to get it away to one of his players. It's fumbled a little bit. Fernando's right there, and it's going to get kicked out of bounds on Frontier. So it's going to be a Greylock throw in down the sideline, just over Fernando's head. Ben Cachuango can't handle it. It's going to go out of bounds. Throw in Matt Seacard. Ooh. And there's Devin Niles with an opportunity. He's got the ball. Passes it up to Nico Fasalo. Fasalo's alone. Him and the goalie. And Dan Warren's going to fall on top of it. What a great play by Dan Warren to keep Greylock in this game when it seems like there's no hope. Greylock needs to come up with something really quickly if they want to put this game into overtime. But here's Fernando. Pass across the field to Fasulo, and he can't handle the ball. Greylock's playing hurry up now. The clock is ticking, we're under five minutes now. And the officials on the field are keeping the time. So all I know is that it's under five minutes. Opportunity here for Greylock. Great stop by Owen Babb. Greylock keeping it in Frontier's end. There's a little shove, pass up. Cashawango now with the ball and he's gonna pass it out of bounds. Throw in for Greylock on the near sideline. They've got it in the goalie box now. Greylock fighting for it. And everyone seems to be looking for a penalty on that one, but no one's going to get it. And it, It's going to be a goalie kick or a corner? Looks like a corner. There's the corner. Pass on the ground is more what it was. There's the kick. And Frontier's going to clear it out. Great play there by Frontier. Greylock's going to get the throw in, though. Push it back in to the goalie box, and it's going to go out of bounds. Goalie kick for Owen Babb. Owen Babb going to take his time with it, of course. Here it is. Low drive. Greylock's going to get it. Kick it up to the top of the goalie box. Squeezed out by Chan Min. Fernando to Nico Fasulo. He's going to get it past the defender. It's going to get kicked back by Greylock, though. Catruango passes it up for Frontier. Greylock gets it back. Number seven, Fernando for Frontier. Gets shoved down. No whistle blown. And... The kick into the goalie box, fielded by Owen Babb with ease. Both teams acutely aware that if nothing happens, the game is already determined. Dan Warren passes it out. Fernando and Niles on the sideline. Fernando takes it, shot on goal. But there's a whistle blown. Whistle blown, looks like it was out of bounds. And 
and the front Frontier thought that the game was over. So throw in for Frontier. Fernando's gonna take it down the sideline to Niles. Fernando's gonna get it back. And he gets kicked down. Sean Min has it now. Greylock passes it up. And a whistle blown. Back on the other side of the midfield line. It's a free kick for Greylock. Gonna move it back a little bit. Everyone's moving up the field. Captain Josh Newton on the kick, headed into the goalie box. It's gonna get cleared by Frontier, stopped by Newton. Rudin, that's my bad. Josh Rudin. And that's the game. The Frontier Redhawks are gonna rush onto the field after winning the game one to nothing. They came all the way out to Wilbraham, Minichog High, and they're gonna come back home to South Deerfield with the Western Mass title. Once again, the only goal scored in the game was by Frontier senior and captain Brady Birch after an assist from Chan Hee Sun. The final score is Frontier 1, Mount Greylock nothing. And Frontier, the Frontier Redhawks claim the Western Mass title. Mount Greylock came out, they played a fantastic game. Some amazing players, some amazing plays. But it's that one goal that matters. So we're gonna call it a night here at Minichog High School in Wilbraham. And once again, the final score, one to nothing, Frontier coming out on top as the Western Mass champions. I've been Mason Smith, and you are watching Frontier Community Access Television. For both teams, please report to the 40-yard line. All right, all right. Owen, this is Owen Babb, goalkeeper for Frontier. How are you feeling about tonight's win, man? I feel great. I feel relieved. Relieved. So relieved. Yeah. They had a couple great shots on you, some great saves tonight. It was close. It was I, close. I didn't like it. <laughs> but we came out of it, and that's all that I got. Yeah. All right. And how about your personal performance? How, how are you feeling about that, man? I think I did really good. Um, last time we played them, I didn't do so good. So it's felt <laughs> like a redemption for me. Yeah, that's awesome, man. All right. Yeah, all right. All right. All right. Jack Storm, Brady Birch. Yes. Right. So, how are you guys feeling about the win? We feel great. We feel so great. excited. Jack played amazing. Oh so yeah. Yeah. MVP right here. Defense MVP. goalie. Owens. Oh. Zero oh. goals. Owen is the most handsome goalie I've ever seen. Oh yeah, that's very yeah. true, man. Yo, is I can going agree on with the news? That. It is going on. Yo, going on what's YouTube. up, news? It's going on YouTube, man. YouTube. Yeah. We roll. We do roll. We roll. We do roll. Yes. How are you guys feeling about your personal performance? You think you did good? Personally? I 
Yeah, I think I did good. Uh, I got a calf cramp, unfortunately. At yeah, the yeah end I thought that's what happened. But, you know. I think uh, I could have had a couple more opportunities there. Yeah. You know, made a couple but, more know. plays, scored a couple more, but yeah. it is what it is. We won. You guys were both doing incredible out yeah, there. Thank you. And I, how do you, what do you, what do you have to say about your opponent, Greylock? Not Greylock. Uh, they're a good team. We played before, we lost to them on our home field, so this was a good revenge tour to yeah. go at them a little bit. So. Yeah. yeah, they're All a very right. tough team. Yeah. All right.